is Koiko, the latest addition to the Koiko mini uh, family. I got the rose gold and it is a aluminum body. And then I've already shared this um, pen clip, the artistic one. But I want to ink it with the rose gold, I'm sorry, the rose gilt tint because it's pink and it's a shimmery ink. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to get um, my table set up for inking and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I laid down my paper towel and I put my um, converter here. The cartridge that came with was um, when I did my unboxing. Um, the cartridge was stored inside this barrel and I, ha I had to tap it, take it out. I'm not gonna use it. Um, they come as the Lammies do uh, and I've probably most fountain pens if they come with a cartridge with the blue. I don't choose to use a blue ink in this beautiful rose gold um, barrel. Um, in my search for the perfect ink for my uh, Pilot E95S, which has the burgundy barrel and I was in search for that perfect ink, which I have found. Um, but because I didn't have the converter here, I did insert the cartridge that came with, and it is a blue, and I'm trying to use it up. I'm gonna use it up and then um, insert my converter. So I'll be sure to film that when I do. In the meantime, I do have, uh, I don't know if you can see on the side, the side, it just says, it's in raised letters, it says Kaweco. I don't know if you can get that. Anyway, it is a Kaweco mini converter there. Um, so I will be using this uh, to, re to fill my ink. I'm going to pop it in here. Because I, I do have the syringe, but I'm not going to use the syringe. This is... Uh, a piston um, converter. Let me get it going. So you can see the plunger here. And when you um, do your fill, of course it's going to take more because this is a dry feed. Um, it, it hasn't been inked before, so it will take some ink to absorb into that feed. And when I fill it the first time, there will be less ink um, available in the converter uh, because some will be used to absorb into the dry feed. So um, we'll begin with the plunger down. And of course this, I'm choosing to use the rose gilt tint and I did um, mix up some of that shimmer. It was all collected at the bottom, but you can see I've mixed, mixed it around. I don't think you can see that as well on the camera as I can see, but we are going to cap off, insert the nib um, converter down past the breathe hole, air hole. Am I in frame here? Let me scoot over and pull the plunger up. And as you can see, I'm not all the way full because of my dry feed um, feeder mechanism. So I'm gonna try one more time. And then I'll just, yeah, I got a lot less air in that converter that time. But as I use um, the pen and I have a wet feed feeder into my nib unit, um, it will, not take as much to fill. So I'm going to assemble my pen and we'll do some writing. I'm going to screw that until secure. And again, I am gonna post this pen because you can see how small it is, unposted. I'm gonna post it and we'll use 
some more pages from my Stella GB6 um, that I used previously in some pin samples. So this is, I'm going to write it as my Kueco AL Sport, and it is the extra fine nib with the rose gilt tint uh, shimmer ink from Robert Ulster. Okay, so I'm waiting for that feeder to um, be moistened so that I can use my ink. And there we go. Of course, the horizontal lines are much more fine than the vertical lines, simply by the nature of a fountain pen nib. Okay. Um, I'm going to write Koiko. AL Sport. And of course, no bearing on the ink's performance or the nib performance, but this is the rose gold, which was my preference in body when I ordered it, and um, the rose gilt tint. If you did happen to see my swatch video, oops, gilt tint, and tint is spelt uniquely. If you did happen to see my um, swatch video, um, I was impressed with this ink because even though it goes on the page um, very lightly with the rose, it also has a darker um, underlying color with a, a very light shimmer. Um, on the top of the page. So there's like two colors in this ink. It can be very, not very dark, but darker underneath. And then you get the very light shimmer, shimmer overcoat, as you can see here. It's just amazing and fun. Wow. Okay, so I hope something you see here inspires you to um, love and explore fountain pens, fountain pen nibs, fountain pen inks. And until next time, thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.